What's up, man? It's, your, it's yours truly, Big Brother Trend. Listen. I, I don't want you to watch this video if you sensitive. Because this video is the shock and truth. And it's going to hurt. I'm just letting you know right now, it's going to hurt. All right? If you ain't never been heartbroken before, after this video, you're going to be heartbroken. I'm just telling the cold, hard truth. All right? Because I'm about to tell you some shit, man, that you will never hear in the world. All right? Listen, man. Here's the truth. If you've been looking for love, if you've been looking for love in your life, Here's the truth. You have been right the whole time. Listen, you can't find it, bro. You can't find it. And at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can find it. Because I found it. Stay tuned through this whole entire video, man. It's your big brother, Trend. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel after this video but honestly i'm gonna keep it real with y'all the only way i was able to make this video right now bro is because i'm hurt bro i've been hurt for a long time you know what i mean people be under people don't understand trend how you got so many videos how you be doing this bro i'm hurt bro i've been hurt for years bro that's been my motivation and my inspiration is my pain bro I'm about to tell you some stuff in this video. Turn the volume up on your phone. I had to come out here to the field to record this. I had to get open space. I need all my space. Listen, man. Listen, y'all. They don't love you. And I'm going to tell you why in this video. And I don't know who they is in your life. It might be your, it might be your husband. It might be your wife. It might be your girlfriend, it might be your boyfriend, it might be your cousins, it might be your auntie, it might be your sister, your mother, your father, it might be anybody, none of them don't love you. And see, everybody always say, Trin, you preach a hate message. No, I don't. I just don't figure something out because I see life from a different perspective. I figure something out that a lot of people is get don't know. A lot of people don't know this and they, they, they're constantly chasing this and it don't exist. Listen, man, people don't love you, bro. They don't love you. Most of the time when you come in contact with people and you become friends with people and stuff, before they came up to you and, and wanted to talk to you and get to know you, they saw a quality in you that they was attracted to. It might have been your glasses. It might have been your hips. It might have been your physique and your body. But it was never that they really unconditionally love you for who you are. Think about that now. They might have loved you for your hair. You just went and got your hair cut. You just went and got your hair done. You just went and got your wig did, your nails did. You just got a new car and it's parked outside. They seen you get out your new car. That's See, I'm trying to tell you, these are the things that people think are love when they come to you and they say they want to be with you. They attracted to more so of what you got and your material possessions than they really love you. But see, what they'll do is they'll they'll must a lot of people think that your attributes and the, and the material things that you have accumulated for yourself or who have who you have become to be. You know, what I mean, they are attracted to you who you have become. You know, what I'm saying you'd be like, oh, all these guys is popping up. Out of the blue, they want to holler at me. My ex just called me Big Bro Trend, calling me, booking sessions with me. What should I do, Trend? He just phoned me up. He just come. <laughs> he ain't really, he don't really love you. He left you one time already. He just coming back because he see you done leveled up when he left. That's a man's, <laughs> that's a man's worst thing to happen to him is to see you still doing good without him. Vice versa, the same thing for a man. The, the, the reason why these chicks is popping up, it's not because they really love you. They already done left you and done slept with somebody else after you. Let's keep it real here. Let's make it make sense. And now she coming back into your life again because she feel like she missing out on something because she see you doing good without her. Let's be real. Let's make it make sense. See, y'all gonna see, and this is why a lot of people don't like me. 
because I get up here and I tell the truth and a lot of people cannot accept it because you chasing, you chasing and you facing and living a lie. They deceived you. They made you think you can find love. You can't find love no more. You mean to tell me, you mean to tell me that person that you with, they love you unconditionally? Think about it. What is unconditional love? Lo unconditional love is when you down and out and when you ain't got nobody to call on. Unconditional love is when you hurt. You come down with the most worst illness. Unconditional love is if you uh, if a bum took off your legs, they still going to be your man. She's still going to be your woman, bro. Unconditional love is when you going through chemotherapy and you had to lose all your hair and you ain't got the same hair as when you met the person. Huh? Oh, you're not attracted to me. You, I don't got the same qualities that I used to have no more. Unconditional love is when you got diabetes now, you know what I'm saying? And you got to take a little shot and do insulin and stuff like that. And they got to be there to see that. They got to see you have, you have to get your sugar down and stuff. Oh, no, that turned a lot of people off. And they want to go get somebody who's healthier now. People don't really love you. They just love you for what you can give and do for them. Parents the same. It ain't no different with your mama, your mammy, your pappy either. It's the same thing with them. They don't look at you as no. They don't look at you as no uh, 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 asset. Oh, look at my daughter. She's doing great things. Daughter, congratulations, daughter. And if you do got that, consider yourself blessed. Consider yourself blessed if you do have the parents that's able to stand up and be firm and to be bold and to say, congratulations. You doing good. You are part of me. Because I'm going to tell you, a lot of us don't get that. A lot of us don't get that, bro. Most of us have become liabilities to our parents. Liabilities. If we ain't got no money, we ain't clicking. We ain't ticking. We ain't of love. We was born from, some of us born from the hood. We ain't never have love. No cap. We ain't never have no love. We ain't never have nobody to stick their hand out and help us with nothing. So if you got that silver spoon opportunity, boy, you better get this video a thumbs up or something. Share it to your friend. Or something, because y'all about to be grateful. Love. What is it? What is love? You can't find love. You know why you can't find love? Because there ain't no more real people out here no more. Everybody chasing the dream. Everybody chasing a facade. Everybody chasing illusion. All these girls chasing a bag, bro. I love you, baby. I love you. At the end of the phone call, I love you. She don't love you, nigga Tron. She just love what you got going on for yourself right now. She love the fact that you play ball, dog, and you bringing them checks. Let's keep it real. This is capitalism at its finest. Damn. The government is great. They good. Smart. This is capitalism at its finest, bro. She don't love you. As soon as that check run out, huh? She taking them kids and she taking that money and she still got the honey for you, Playboy Bunny. She still got it for you. If you want to come and get some, but she going to be doing her own thing in the meantime, cuz, because you ain't got that bag like you used to. So all my brothers out there that's getting a bag, understand what I'm saying, bro. Don't nobody really love you, bro. They just really like you because of what you have become, what you are becoming. Some people don't, don't some people say they love you. They say they want to be with you and all this. They just want to do that just simply because they see what you becoming. People that's coming into your life, new people that's coming into your life. Oh, let me come hang with you. This and that. Whoop de whoop. Hitting you up. All this fake stuff. You know why they doing that? Because they see what you becoming. They don't want to miss it out. They don't want to miss out. Because they know when you blow up, they want to be the ones that you look at and you think about. Say, oh, they did something for me. I gave you some money, remember? I gave you $10, remember? Nigga, shut up.
I remember. No. That's all they do. They don't really love you. And that's one thing you got to understand in this world that we living in, man. That's one thing you got to recognize in this world that we live in. If you chasing love, you chasing a pie in the sky. You never going to find it. Everybody that you get, they going to let you down. I don't give a damn how much you there for them. I don't give a damn how much you be there for them. I don't give a damn how much money you give them. I don't care how many dates you take her out on, bro. It's not going to matter at the end of the day. When she decides that you're not giving her enough, she's going to get up. She's going to go to the next hottest thing. It's just That's just the way it is. Even I would do that. That's bad, ain't it? Even I would do that. And I admit, even I'm not the type of guy yet to be able to deal with somebody who I once upon a time used to like because of the quality they possessed when I met them. And then that shit just started to diminish and turn into like ashes and shit. Like, I don't know if I'm still able to still thug it out because I ain't never been in that situation before. But I'm just being honest. I don't really even know what unconditional love is. Somebody got to show me. But I'm just being real with y'all this morning. It's, man, it's, listen, if you want to keep from getting your heart broken and your feelings hurt all the time, stop looking for love. Stop. stop but she going to love me. No, she ain't. Every day is going to be something that you second guess. Oh, man, she did this wrong. She did. The, oh, man, she acting shady. She doing something funny. Man, it's always because she don't really love you, bro. She ain't never going to be there for you 100% like you think she is, like satisfaction guarantee. Can't nobody do that. Can't no human do that. Everybody's mischievous. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's trying to manipulate everybody in some form or fashion just to get what they want. Don't nobody love you. They see dollar sign. If you got something going on good for yourself, oh man, I'm about to start a bakery. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I'm about to start a cleaning service. <laughs> oh man, I'm about to open a franchise. Oh, I, hey, you know what? I, I just, you know, you my favorite. I just really want to say thank you. Let's say a prayer. Let's pray over this franchise that you about to come up. Because I know God is going to bless you. And he's going to do miraculous things. And we all just want to let us know, let you know that we is here for you. And the dick and the dead to the Lord come back and get us. Hey, let us pray. They don't really love you. They just see that bridge you about to make. They just see that money you about to make. They just see you about to live a better life than them. So they want to be a part of it. Let's be real. At the end of the day, you ain't going to find love in the person. They're going to like you. They gonna, people can say they love you all they want. Prove me wrong. If you're a person out there, you still know how to love you. And I know y'all about to lie. I know a lot of y'all about to lie. I do. I do. No, you don't. Because because you don't really, nobody never really done anything to really hurt your feelings the way that, we see, when you don't have your feelings hurt enough, when you don't have your feelings destroyed, when you don't been real heartbroken, like people that's really been heartbroken, you will start to see the truth. And the truth is, only God can love you. That's the only one you got at the end of the day. It's the Lord himself. The solid rock, the foundation, the cornerstone, the alpha, the omega, the beginning, and the end. It's the only one that loves you. That's who I'm rocking with. Somebody comment below and say, bro, I'm rocking with God. Just comment below. Just let me know. that You ain't got to be religious. Just say, I'm rocking with God. Fired up this morning. People gonna always let you down. They gonna always, they gonna always. <laughs> Can you give me this? Can you give me that? Can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Damn. I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm breathing. Shit. When you gonna take me out, Trin? 
Hello, hey, how you doing, baby? Hey. It's ridiculous, sad, disgusting. I'm about to buy me a dog. I'm gonna get me something. I'm gonna get a sheep. I'm gonna get me a damn hamster or something. Because you can't trust these Decepticons out here. You can't trust these human beings, bro. They is ratchet tooly. Telling you, they ratchet. And I'm telling you, if you keep putting your trust in these people, they're going to always let you down. When you get with the next friend, when you get with the next boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever, just keep in the back of your mind, listen, keep some of yourself for yourself. Just live in the moment. Enjoy the good time. Because I can 100,000% guarantee you the person didn't get with you because they really love you. They got with you because they trying to figure out how to love you. They probably see a lot of things that they like in you and they just wanted to get with you because they want to figure out <sighs> it's something about you that makes me feel like if I can love you, then I can finally love myself so I can love somebody else. Because most of the time, the reason why they don't love you at the end of the day is because they don't 100% love themselves. Only way you find love is if you find somebody that truly loves themselves. They've been heartbroken. They've been walked on like a doormat. They've been cheated on. They've been crossed out and left out. They know what it feels like. If you find somebody like that, and you been like that, y'all could come together and actually create love. Y'all could come together and actually create a relationship or a situationship or whatever you're trying to create. And you will see love, you will see God in between the two of y'all. Other than that, God is the only one that can love you at the end of the day. I'm just going to keep it real with you. So you about you to praise God after this video. I just want you to give God a praise. Just give him the highest praise because he there for you right now. He going to be there for you when everybody walk out on you. He going to be there for you today. He going to bless you today. Come out and say, hey, man, the Lord is going to bless me today. God's going to bless you today. I'm not your big brother. God's your big brother. I'm just reminding you that he told me to tell you I'm the only one you's got. Chosen ones. If you got some situations with family. And you ain't seen my secret chosen ones and family videos. <laughs> this ain't nothing right here. Click that link below at the top of the comment section. Get my chosen ones and family course if this video right here resonated with you. Because I guarantee you, you won't regret it. Chosen ones and family. If you're going through some stuff with your family members, I don't care. It could be any family member. Click that link below. Chosen ones and family members. Get my course below. You're going to get the information. You're going to get the secret stuff, the secret sauce. All right. Click that link below right now. Get it. Don't look back. Remember, they don't love you. <laughs> the truth may hurt, the tr but the truth will set you free. At least you're free now. At least you're happy knowing that. See, this video was not to hurt you. It was not to not to give you low hopes. It was to keep you in high hopes. That. You can, you can still find love if you put your focus on the Lord, put your focus on God at all times. He'll lead you to the right thing that you need to be with. That's the secret. Peace out. It's your big bro, Trent.